Okay, good morning. We're going to do a quick tutorial on how to create time-coded proxies for transcriptions um, using Compressor 4. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I tried to do this and there was no videos out there, so I figured out how to do it. So I'm going to show you guys in case you need to know how to do it too. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some original footage um, and we're going to create smaller files so that other people can look at them with the original time code and transcribe them and then send them back and link those files with the original time coded with the original clips and final cut. So here's one of the original clips um, that we're going to bring in. Uh, right now it is 4.27 gigabytes. Uh, this is 4k footage. So looking at compressor before we get started is pretty dull. Um, it's just this thing and actually when you open it it looks kind of just like this and you're like well what do I do? Click a couple tabs up here on the left hit show and I'll show you what that stuff means. Um, and then over here, your inspector as well. So then what you want to do is um, bring in some footage, drag and drop, just like everything else these days. And there you go. There's our footage. And so it'll do the same properties it did in Finder, which is this 4K footage, 24 frames a second, blah, blah, blah. So um, the file's way too large, and we don't need to send a 4K image overseas for transcription. So what we need to do is make it much smaller. So in order to do that, you have a bunch of presets over here that you can do, or you can manipulate things, but the easiest way to do it is go to your video sharing services and grab small. Drag that small, it's called an output, onto the file, and it'll automatically make some changes. So now it's dropped down to 428 by 240, which is very small, but still not small enough for the amount of footage that most people deal with in full documentary editing or feature editing. So um, we're gonna have to make it smaller. So we're gonna reduce it, and make custom size of 160 by 120. Just clicking in those boxes and hit or hitting tab. And then we're going to change it to computer playback. That's going to make the um, bit rate a little bit higher, but it's just going to work a little bit better for us. And then the only other change is in audio. You're going to want to go ahead and copy audio tracks from source. Uh, it's just going to help speed things along, make it a little bit easier. Nice feature to have. So that's pretty much how you do one clip and then you hit start batch. What it's going to do is it's going to send it into your active window and it's going to start to compress it. Um, it's going to take a long time. These files, especially going from 4K to 160, is quite a bit of compression and it's going to take your computer a bunch of time. You can click remaining and it's going to tell you a bunch of different numbers, but none of them are really accurate. You can assume that clips are going to take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on your computer, depending on the size of the clip and the size of the footage. Once it's done, it'll go into your completed menu and as you can see here, I've successfully completed many this way. Um, one failure, and the reason that it failed was because I ran out of hard drive space and I had to um, move some files around and then I just redid it and it went fine. Once you're done, if you don't change any of the file names or anything like that or the locations and only do the things I showed you, right next to your existing clip, it's gonna go ahead and pump out a proxy file. So there it is, um, 160 by 120, and now it is 88 megabytes. Much more reasonable to send to someone and since we compressed it in compressor, it has that original time code. And at the same time, if you're using QuickTime 7, you have pan control. So if you have an interpreter on one channel and the subject on the other, or the predicate on one channel and the subject on the other, then you can easily manipulate what you want to hear um, and depending on how you want to hear it and your audio setup as well. So that's one clip at a time. Now, if you wanted to do multiple clips at a time, so let's go back here and we'll just grab some other stuff and as you can see I've already done these so this is just for example so if I wanted to grab multiple clips for transco uh, for transcribing and make proxies of them with the original time code I can grab all those clips drag and drop bang it's gonna bring them in it's gonna take a second now <clears throat> if I was to go through each and every one of these clips because I would have to what I can do is I can add small and it'll apply it to one, or I can hit control, uh, whoops, sorry, redo. <sighs> or I can clip on, click on all of the clips, control A, command A, and I can apply that small thing. But again, that was only brought us down so far. So what I did is I created what's called a droplet. Um, a droplet is basically a custom preset that you can apply. And as you can see right here, it's got 160 by 120. Um, and the audio is copy audio tracks from source, and this calls it small copy. You can always rename it and call it, you know, proxy, whatever you want. Um, and then this is smallest file upload, 
and blah 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 that's your description you can clean it up again none of that's really as important as just having a quick file so again if i don't hit command z this time i hit command a here we go we've collected all of them i'm going to drag my droplet onto them and now it's going to apply that preset to all those clips i can hit start batch and then it'll spit it out in one massive list and then send them all out as you can see these took an average of half an hour 12 minutes all the way up to an hour and 14 minutes um, so each clip can take a long time it's good to do it at night um, and then that way you wake up and your proxies are done and you can upload them to your Dropbox uh, utilizing this much stuff you're definitely going to need to upgrade that Dropbox to Dropbox Pro it's only nine bucks a month totally worth it so um, this is my quick tutorial on how to make uh, proxies for transcription in Compressor 4 because nobody fucking else did uh, have a nice day